Welcome to the Weekly Bus. This is episode five. Just episode me. motherfucking five. Welcome to the Weekly Bus. Fuck yeah, dude. This thing's on a roll, too, Hell yeah. man. Give me some. Give me some of that paper, doggy. Hell yeah. It, I mean, the show is successfully off it, off the ground, man. It's fucking rolling. Thank you to everyone who's watched our shit. Hell yeah, dude. And there's a lot of fucking people out there reaching out to us and fucking like, hey, man, I like the fucking show. That, it, that alone, that feeling alone has gravitated to me. If you could... If you're in Flathead Valley and you're listening to this, please give us a share. A, a share or anything, man. Anything. I, I fucking subscribe. I don't give a shit. I mean, it, it, dude, it's taken off. Episode five already in the fucking bag. I fucking really like how this show's And going. we're not even a month in. Just mind that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We, we, were, we were talking in original start. We were just going to do an episode a week. But, man, I think, I think a week. I mean, it felt... Just this last recording that we did, episode four, it felt like a long time, didn't it? Yeah. Felt like at least a week. I felt like I wanted to record an episode every single day. I mean, it felt like that for me. Like, I was like, damn, dude. Yeah, we got three and four cracked out. Yeah, man. I wanted to fucking really show out, dude. Like, I don't know. It just keeps piling up, I feel like. Yeah. uh, I don't want to say stress, but it was the anxiety of the original first episode getting out uh that i had a little bit i was timid because i just want to produce good content but you're right episode five man this is all good content i haven't heard anything bad no me neither dude and you know and this may sound fucking whatever but i've been listening to our fucking our other episodes on a daily basis just so i can dissect and try to make content better and i think dude i think the show's good where do you listen i listen on spotify the most all right and you i try to get my youtube done for (laughs) sub That's fair, but I mean, does it really count if we're the ones listening to it? No, I'm just kidding. I really haven't watched on YouTube. I'm just trying to promote YouTube, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I use Spotify the most, man. I no, fucking same. I'm on there a lot, so it, it makes sense for me to to go to the show. And I like the way it presents itself on the, like on Spotify. Uh, me too. And I, no, I want to go back to that that what you were just saying. You know, the the pre jitter shows like mm-hmm. that would start out. You know what I mean? now i'm at like we were just talking about this like i'm at the process dude like we're gonna look back in like a year or so and be like fuck episode one two and three and four and five da 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 you know what i mean yeah uh i think by the end of the year what's a good number a hundred maybe no there's 52 weeks in a year so i feel like we're gonna go over that dude I, i was listening to the uh exactly sean o'malley and tim welch's dude they're they're only 64 episodes in man and it feels like they've had this show for a long time. They have a lot of shit to do, though. They got a lot of shit going on, man. That's a fair statement. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. We, me and you don't that much. I mean, we, we met, do. We I, got jobs in school and work, whatever. Yeah. But they, We got the average shit. Yeah, but I'm sure they got work and play and fucking train, yeah, dude, whatever. Yeah. Go to nightclubs. Right. They they live a good life, dude. Uh, Sean O'Malley and Tim Welch, both of our stuck on O Show. That, you know, did you watch that documentary about Oregon, the cult that went on over there? They call it a cult. No, I haven't seen it. Um, fuck, I think it was on Hulu. I can't remember. I watched it a few months back, dude. I had mom watch it too. It was a, it was a good show, dude. It was something to do with Oregon and the cult. Fuck, what? I can't remember the. I'll have to. Pull occult. A cult, yeah. No, I mean O C, Oc, like occult. I don't know what that is. I don't know, man. Um. So, here's a crazy little fact for you that my wife, Cassandra, brought to my attention. 7.5 billion people could fill the greater Los Angeles area standing shoulder to shoulder. That's fucking unreal. L.A. is huge, dude. Absolutely. Watts, Compton, South Central, Hollywood. You know what I mean? Like, it's fucking big. Uh, and I gotta go see that motherfucker, dude. That's sick. <laughs> that is hell it's high, dude. Are you excited for that trip? Mad excited. Yeah, I bet, dude. I mean, you get to. Explore. I think I'm a little bit more excited for March when we get to watch the Lakers dominate the Jazz, boy. Yeah, let's make that a reality, man. That's not just dreaming at this point. I don't know if I can financially swing it, but I mean, we'll see. I'm excited about all that too. Speaking about the Lakers and then sports in general. Man, I got a curse, dude. It's a known fact between all everyone that's like friends with me right now. I'm like on a two month drought of major sports 
predictions. <laughs> Every fucking team that I've picked to win a major fucking sport event has lost. Like legit. But he gets to try his luck again in the division or the I have championship the rounds this weekend. I have the Drakers. Facts. Yeah, dude. Like, so if I were to go out and say, example, Clemson's gonna win, dude. I guarantee that it's not gonna happen. So, I mean, statistics prove it. Yeah, this uh, we got two chances this weekend. You got two different types of stuff going on. Yeah, the Conor McGregor fight. Yeah, and the NFC AFC championship games. Uh huh. So, let's hear it. <laughs> So, so if, if you guys he, are going to bet, you better just bet after he talks. Just right. bet against. Your red line. Thank you, sir. Um, just bet against everything that I bet. Okay? Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm guessing that Connor wins. And I think it's going to be a knockout. I think he's going to catch fucking old boy cowboy off guard and he's coming off a drought. I think Connor Connor has the power, man. Or do you think Cowboy's going to push? Well, fun fact about Connor, man, he hasn't been drinking. At all, he hasn't been doing anything. He, I, matter of fact, I just learned that he's taking advice from LeBron James, saying that he's investing millions of dollars into his body now. Like LeBron, and like he literally invests one point five million dollars into his body annually. That's fucking tight, actually. He cares enough about his body in after sports that he's gonna live a good life. One point five million. Yeah, that's a lot of money that you're going to be investing into. As but like, that's top tier trainers. What, you, you know, know what I mean? re- regard. Or, you know, I mean, regardless of LeBron uh, on that kind of money, this is where Connor's at. Like, I don't. I'm not a big UFC guy. Anyone who knows me knows I don't really fuck around with UFC too much. But the interviews that I heard recently with Connor saying that just dictates that the guy's mind is in a serious place to win. I think he needs a win. If he doesn't fucking win this time, I think his fight career could potentially sour out. Nobody's going to give a fuck about a Conor fight. Just lost to Khabib and... and, and I mean, he he's been in a three-year hiatus since then. And he got beat up by fucking Mayweather. and You know what I mean? If he doesn't pull a big W here, I, I think this is a win. This is a must. I needed. This is a must-win fight for like Conor. That's why I'm going Conor. Okay. Okay. All right. And then for, what is it, National uh, uh, NFC? Hey, As it was the, both, The right? championship games, yeah. Um, I, I got Titans. All right, me too. Because. Just because I don't like the Chiefs. Go Broncos, baby. 100%. And I don't like Patrick Mahomes fucking supporting George Zimmerman. Fuck Patty Mahomes at this point. <clears throat> Truth. Yeah. So, um, and then for the NFC game, I got Green Bay because I'm not, you know, I'm not big on the Niners fucking fans coming out of the woodworks acting like they've been the shit. I mean, it's cool that they're winning now. For their fans, but you've only been rebuilding thirty years, you motherfuckers. Yeah, so quick, get out, get off this coattail. You guys been riding fucking Joe Montana and fucking Steve Young's fucking wins for how long? Since the nineties. Yeah. Uh, I hope you know what I'm going Packers too, just because I hope to hear the absolute silence of the Forty ers stadium. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what else is absolute silent? The new Microsoft room. In Red Word. Redmond. Redmond. That's Redmond, Washington, yeah. yeah. You, that is fucking scary, dude. All right, if, for those that don't know, the new quietest room in the world is Microsoft, Microsoft Red, yeah. Redmond, Washington. It is negative 20.35 decibels below uh, human hearing. So <laughs> you can hear your uh, blood fucking pumping, man. Like, through your veins. That's fucking sick. So, this is the Minnesota room they were talking about. You know, in Minnesota, they said the longest anybody was to withstand that quietness, that amount of quietness, was 45 fucking minutes before they couldn't take it no more. Could you imagine being in a room that fucking quiet? Uh, I think I'd give it a shot. I think I could give it a shot too, but fuck what I want it. I don't even know if I'd want. I give myself ten minutes, man. I I I can hardly stand quiet for seven seconds. (laughs) I'm not as bad as my wife, dude, but I cannot fucking stand the way people chew or eat, right? Let alone the weird ass sounds you're gonna hear from your body. Your tongue fucking clicking. Yeah. Oh my fuck, dude. When you're in a quiet room trying to go to bed, dude, you can hear your ears ringing. No shit. You can hear your fart before it comes out. Oh my, that'd be weird. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, fuck, that's weird, dude. Shit, I got one brewing, baby. Um, that's fucking weird, man. Um, but speaking about people, right? You were, you were bringing up L.A. and that mm-hmm. f- that would fact that we can put the whole world's population inside the larger area of L.A. Right? Yeah. Guess what? Uh, a majority of those people's names going to be. Uh, the most popular name in the world? Yeah. Jackson. Yeah, well, you can try again. The Muslims have this one. Oh. Fucking like Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? But like, isn't it weird that you, I li- Hold on. Oh. If you had a loud speakerphone and you're like, Muhammad, you get this enormous amount of sound. Speaking to get out of the sound, right? Everyone would be like, what, uh, so what is all your guys' name? And all of a sudden you hear like a hundred billion decibels. You just hear it from the back. Muhammad. Yeah. <laughs> and then it fucking like tidal waves. Yeah, no. right. <laughs> fucking move the clouds type of sound. No, uh, I just, where was I going? I forgot. Oh, uh, what was that cave in Peru you were talking about? <clears throat> Not Peru, man. Romania. It was there discovered in Romania. Um, and so in 1983, this, 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 this room was fucking found and uh i mean not a room it was a fucking cave that uh it was 1986 okay so romania fucking discover it was discovered in romania this cave man that hasn't been touched or on earth or even seen or disturbed by any kind of like life for five million years is what they expected and it has only 10% of oxygen down below this where this is. This is like you would think nothing could live there, right? No sun, 10%, 10% oxygen. 10% oxygen. Right. And they found 48 Fuck. living species there, 33 of the which were only found there. Isn't that fucking crazy? So what you're saying is Mars only needs 10% oxygen. What What I'm saying is... There is a chance. Baby. There is a chance. And <laughs> yeah. now we go back to recolonating Mars. We found we found water. I mean, not water, but I mean, ice water. I mean, liquid, not liquid water, but we found like snow in Mars last time I heard. Yeah. Don't quote me because I'm not. No, I'm, I think that's right on the bottom. It's yeah. kind of like Antarctica. Yeah. Speaking of Antarctica, man, you had a great point you were talking about earlier about what was it? Fucking last episode, two episodes back about. Fucking. Oh, uh, episode one. Remember, okay, I mentioned the 38 military people gone missing. Yeah. Ty let that go over his head. I did. So let's go more in depth to it. Yes, there's been scientists there. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. But I think they're sanctioned. No, no. So, like, but no, is... no, no. Listen. So, no, you're blocked. Like, scientists can go down to Antarctica. Yeah, research. But. It's supposed to be a place military can't go. Yeah, and there's no military bases. It's international land. So why did we have a cargo plane with 38 American troops heading to motherfucking Antarctica? Well, it is America. You can't put anything over America when it comes to military, so they're probably sneaking on there for something. For what, though? I don't know. That's a weird conspiracy of its own. That is. Uh that's maybe something different for another one. Yeah, I mean that. that I mean oh. that's strange, right? Yeah. Speaking of caves, speaking of what seems to be unlivable, I'm just gonna throw it out there. If you haven't watched the movie Time Trap, it catches your attention. It's two hours long. It's good, man. Documentary? No movie. Netflix. I never heard of it. Oh, okay. Well, they go into a cave. They are looking for a mer- missing person. Blah blah blah. I don't want to give it all away because if anyway, time trap. So you go in there. The cave to time portal. Oh yeah, no, no, I seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I didn't, I didn't watch all of it. I, 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 I fell asleep in the middle of it. But yeah, dude, and uh, there's like creatures. Yeah, there's yeah, creatures. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, speaking of Netflix, it came up. So the documentary is uh, Wild Wild Country Osho. That's the documentary about the Oregon fucking cult. By oh, the way, okay. yeah. So if you guys are interested, looking for some crazy shit that other people are interested in, like, do you know what I love about podcasts? They make me legit fucking smarter every single day. They also give you content to look at. Super positive shit. When you're bored, you're like, like, oh, yeah, that. Like, I feed off other people's fucking conversations, like, I, like in a good way. Like I, like, I love the energy that people put out on podcasts. Right. Um, what shit? What? I don't know. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> I had I thought I had something brewing up there, but no, oh, okay. It's fucking coffee, man. Yeah, I get it. Um, fucking with the, uh, with all right. So weird names coming up, right? People being put in L.A. Right. Right. What about royalty? Like, as in royal blood, royal families, and instead of democracy. Yeah, as an, oh, I guess as a leadership thing, but uh, I was thinking more like those motherfuckers got to be inbred. If there's only 42 countries that are still using active fucking royalty blood type of shit, don't they have to, like, hump each other and stuff? Mm. No, because that's where Meghan Markle comes in. She's not a royal. So, yeah, but that's why, that's why they're leaving, though. Oh, speaking of that, going back to whatever episode that was. Uh, three for Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the I, I was getting more into this, and uh, the queen has been apparently, allegedly – Fucking making Megan feel like she ain't part of the family, bro. Hmm. Dun dun dun. Also, but also Megan's dad's also trying to sue her. I don't know. I I read that headline. I should have dug into it a little bit, but uh, in the suit, Megan's father is also trying to sue. Her. Dang, dude. Yeah, I guess he can't win nowhere, can you? Yeah. So let's take a moment of silence. Okay, all right, that's enough of that silence. That's yeah, enough of that silence. silence. Fuck all yeah. that shit. Speaking of silence, fuck all that silence. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we've got a couple RPs we want to put out here, and one is from Monday Warrior Mean Mean Stride. Today is Tom Sawyer Mean Mean Pride. Didn't it? That's tight. Good, hey. good run, man. Thanks, buddy. Um, Neil Pert, man. Um, rest in peace to the rest in peace. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. One of the best drummers on the whole wide world. And I seen Danny Carey from Tool <laughs> doing a fucking uh tribute to him, and he rocked that shit Ooh, out, yeah. dog. Um, so and let's take um, another moment for someone who passed away this morning, the WWE legend, Rocky Johnson. For those who don't know, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, a.k.a. his dad. Yes. R.I.P. to him. Hell yeah. Moment of silence for those guys. Moment gone. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Facebook has more users than the population of the USA, uh-huh. China, yeah. and Brazil combined. Talking about connecting the world again. This fucking shit is going today, dude. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, this episode's flowing. So you're telling me Facebook has more active users than all of China? Mm, yes. All of the United States? All of them. Double accounts, single accounts, or just to be accounted Maybe for. created accounts. I don't know the algorithm on how they counted it. Still, that's a fucking crazy number. No wonder that Mr. Zuck... Is fucking rich as a motherfucker. Think about all that advertisement space. Speaking of ad space. Yeah. Did you know YouTube is ran by Google, which is ran by a company named ABC. So, or, it, I mean, it's called Alphabet, not ABC. I fucking keep confusing the words. Anyway, so if you're ever thinking of the algorithm, just know that a place called Alphabet sets your algorithm. Mm-hmm. Alphabet is the reason why you're getting ads that you, if you've uh, looked up some weird shit, you're going to get some weird shit back. <laughs> yeah, if you've ever been to the dark side of YouTube, I'm sorry. Well, just anything, apparently. So you, all your weird wish ads, I'm sure, generate from that fucking some search that you've drive down before. Like, I'm fortunate that I don't do a whole Maybe lot of it. Maybe it's your area. Maybe it's your area. You know what I mean? Like, because I get like crack pipes. <laughs> on mine thank you great false <laughs> on the you. wish ads i've seen those on facebook man people were like dang dude facebook's telling me to get high or something yeah they're like or you know some like full-on leather <laughs> fucking bondage with a zipper in the ass or whatever dang dude that's yeah. some fucked up shit you're just gonna find some sheep hands one of these times because montana oh my god some velcro hands yikes <laughs> hold on to the sheep <laughs> <laughs> okay so speaking of youtube the youtube star is trying to box a NFL star named Antonio Brown. Fucking Antonio Brown. Uh, and should, li- I listen further, to this. should I further the curse? Fuck and it. Pick a, and pick a winner? Yeah, let's go. I think Logan Paul's going to beat him up, dude. Legitly? Yeah. Yeah, I think Logan Paul's going to. Come gonna, on, dude. He's been in the ring twice now. And, 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 and shown lost out. both of those times. I don't know, man. That last fight was pretty good, dude. Um, Antonio Brown's out here throwing bags of dicks at cops and baby mamas, dog. I got him. <laughs> 
You going for just the ratchet, like the ratchability or what? Fuck yeah, dude. That's what the sound. You want clout? You're going to get clout. Hell yeah, dude. That fucker is cool. You want, you dude, know what I, mean? I wake up, because I follow Antonio Brown, dude. I wake up and I like I see him on Instagram, dude. He's a fucking wild dude, man. Yeah. Like, one day he's all like, like he, he's thanking the NFL. The very next day he's all like, fuck the NFL and everybody in it. I'm going back to college. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm now college football player. I'm not dissing him when uh, he's going to college because I was supporting that. And then all of a sudden he got wild again, man. I was like, holy shit, dude. You fucking are. You're, he is a... He needs some fucking help, dude. Bipolar? A super bipolar, dude. I think that if you were to see a physician, or I mean like a, a psychologist or something, that really got onto a level that he could take serious and get out of his narcissistic behavior, he could potentially be, you know, like a, like a leading wide receiver again, dude, and taken seriously. But he can He's a clown, though. He's, a, he's another Kanye, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he's another kind of... He's good at pulling... Like, he's smart because he knows how to make money just by being stupid. But he's going to fucking ruin what he truly loves, and that is football. I think the dude does love football. The game? Yeah. I think he likes to be on the field, yeah. But I, I, I don't know. He's been kind of dirty recently, you know what I mean? He's just kind of done it wrong. It's bringing the wrong kind of waves. Mm. You know? He's out here being a rebel like the Sons of Anarchy. Bringing Kanye up for a billion time, it seems like, on almost episode, for whatever reason, he he's a point of conversation. Um, and I don't even know why. It's not like I fuck with Kanye that much. But his woman has a million dollars in her clothes. That's just another random fact. This year. Yeah, annually. Maybe. I mean, that doesn't sound like a lot to someone in, like, in her statue. But like, if you and me were to think about it, dude, a million fucking dollars in a closet? Right. Put that in perspective. Which I understand why she was robbed in Paris, you know. And she uh, didn't I'm gonna give put a quotes fuck. I mean, it was more of a tabloid I mean? than her actually giving a shit about it. Exactly. I think. Yeah, I'm with that. Uh, I I threw the Sens Anarchy thing in there because I didn't know. I, I wanted to let you guys know that Mr. Charlie Hannon revealed that he has a... Uh, I, I, he doesn't really say what he's got, but he's got some health, major health issues going on. So let's hope, keep hope it for a speedy him. recovery. Yeah, the guy's a straight stud, man. I really love Sons of Anarchy, dude. Like we were talking about shows not not too long ago, and I loved all of San, Sons of Anarchy, man. I was sad to see it go, and the, like the new spinoff is gay. Mayans, it bad. sucks, dude. I, I mean, it's not bad, but it's just not it's not something it's I want to follow. Yeah, it's not the boys, you know. Yeah. Exactly, right. and, uh, and when you get to get like attached to characters like that, dude. Right, you want to see the regular people stabbing people's in the neck. Right, power, dude. Speak. Hey, speaking of the power, I seen that Fifty Cent hired um on book two. Fifty Cent fucking hired Method Man. Dog's gonna be in the show with Wendy Williams. No, not fucking Wendy Williams. He hates Wendy Williams. You're Mary J. Blige. Oh, why did I say fucking? Wendy Williams. Oh, I don't know. That's Wendy Williams show. is getting in trouble, though, dude. That's weird that you brought her up, too. Because uh, she's getting fucking boycotted now, and everyone's on fucking social media fucking saying, take her off her show because she was fucking making fun of Clef Lip um, on Joaquin Phoenix, man. She was, like, mocking him, dog. And everyone's, like, signing petitions to get her off the show now. Like, fuck the William, like the Wendy Williams show. Well, hashtag fuck the Wendy Williams show. Or is it hashtag don't fuck with Joaquin Phoenix? Is it Joaquin? Walking, man. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, speaking of stabbing people in the motherfucking neck. Yeah. The American, the Captain America actress, Molly Fitzgerald, fucking done stabbed her mom in the motherfucking neck and killed her. That is, and dude, did you see her fucking mugshot? Mm-mm. She doesn't look like she is sad about it at all, bro. Claiming self-defense. Ah, uh, yeah, like some weird shit, dude. I don't know. That that blew my fucking mind. I had to relook her up, dude. And she was the little hottie twally in uh, the first one of Captain America. I'm pretty sure it was the first one, if not the second. It was the one with the red face. That was the first one, right? Like the the, the guy that looked like the skeleton red guy. Is that in there? Yeah. Uh, I don't she was know. she was in that anyways, man. So, she fucking stabbed her mom and killed her, dude. Damn, that's fucking wild. Are you going to watch the Aaron Hernandez uh, documentary? Sometime this week I will watch it, yes. You're going to watch it? Yeah. I think I want to watch it too. Whether I watch it here in the near future or not, but definitely I want to watch it. I think it looks like a fucking good show. 
I don't like. I heard it's um about mental issues, as it should be. Right. I mean, he was a fucking superstar, dude. I didn't like Aaron Hernandez because he played for the Patriots and his blah, gang blah, relation blah. and this and that. But the guy was a superstar, and a f- he possibly could have went down as one of the greatest wide receivers of all time. I mean that. Mm. I Man, he was on fire, dude. I, I yeah. can see it. Uh, I'm just going to give a quick shout-out to our peoples at the Loaf and Jug. Always showing us love. Always. Yeah, yeah. All you guys, dude. You guys actually were are kind of like, like for me personally, you guys were the first people like, yeah, dude, we're really going to listen. And then you guys really followed through. Yeah, shared our shit. So thank you. We appreciate that. Much love. Hella love, dude. That, I mean, like, I see you guys every single day, man, and it's nothing but love. Appreciate you guys. You guys do a great-ass job. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to give another shout-out. We're shouting out right now? This is our shout-outs? We're, yeah, might as well do it right now. Fair enough. Let's go, baby. Let's All go. Right. Shout-out to Hart for the Australian rain. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> you know nice I mean. shout-out, dude. So shout-out shout to, out to the, whoever was controlling Harp. H A A R P, the high frequency machine up in Alaska. You, I don't know. It just seems oddly weird that Ala- uh, Australia was burning the fuck up, and then With all of a no sudden, no signs of stop. Yeah, no signs. No, yeah, yeah, no. It was just gonna burn the whole continent up, and then all of a sudden you get these gnarly, like controlled typhoon, weather storms. Yeah, like, like typhoon, typhoon style. Yeah. yeah, putting out a lot of the fires over there, man. So whether it was natural Mother Earth doing its fucking thing. Or the government just, like, flipping the switch and saying, let's make this bitch rain, little Wayne style. Mm. Yeah, that was dope, dude. Like, I was happy to read. That was a good read. And I was like, yo, dude, the koala bears are going to be saved. And speaking of that, dude, they are uh, they were showing pictures of Australia's fires after the burn already regrowing, dude. Did you see that? Mm, from death there is life. 100%, dude. You know what I mean? That's why farmers burn their fields also. And and a I'm lot. not saying it's a good thing, and I'm not saying that half, you know, three quarters of Australia burnt. I'm saying that they said a billion animals now, billion, a billion animals now, motherfucker, yeah, have lost their lives. I didn't know that. And over, I think like three thousand homes were fucking torched. But can you watch the growth, man? Give it ten years, that shit's gonna be fucking Flourish, green, beautiful. Yeah. I can't say all the animals will make a. All the recovery. With the right conditions, Mother Earth, if you're hearing us at the universe is listening to us speak, let Australia flourish. Absolutely. Uh, and we're just going to throw it out there that me and Ty have a videographer coming in from Cosmic. Sin. He's a kick ass videographer, too, man. Like, like yeah. he, he does a lot if, of drone footages and shit. Yeah. Uh, he just did a wedding that was a really good video. Um, if you guys want to go check him out, it's Cosmic. Cosmic Sin on YouTube. Sick ass videos, truly. Yeah. He's really good. We'll drop that link also. Yeah, he's going to be helping us out with an upcoming episode. You guys, if you guys been following us on any of the social media, you're going to see that we hooked up with Laza from um, American Gladiators. The original American Gladiators, not the 2008 American Gladiators. Yeah, not the bullshit remake, dude. I'm the, talking about the motherfuckers the real that have been deal. around. You know, when everyone in America was fascinated, Laser is coming in, and he's going to come in, too. Yeah. So any of your shows that you like, guys like, American uh, Ninja Warrior, uh, the one with the fucking Stone Cold, all those, they all came from the idea of American Gladiators. So shout out to AKA Jim Star, Laser, he goes by Jim Star, you know, if you want to look for him on uh, Instagram. Um, Guy's a fucking tank. Yeah, man. So that he's going to be, anyways, uh, Mr. Cosmic in the flesh is going to be running drone footage, hopefully, if we get everything out right. Or even, I don't know how he's going to do it. I'm going to leave all that up to him. But he's going to help us out with giving you, you guys, your first fucking video look of the podcast with Laser's episode. That's right. Yeah. We're thinking about even a location change for this. I mean, this is... It's a, it's a process. It's a process. Um, we got some ideas down the drain that we're we're still working on, but I think it's going to be really, really dope, really exciting shit. Yeah. Uh, but with Australians Recovery, Earth is at it again. There's fucking been 46 volcanic explosions around the globe since freaking September. Three major ones that just went off Japan's, 
Philippines is back active and they're expecting for a major blowout. That's fucking terrifying for those guys. Does that make you worry about um, Yellowstone at all? Yellowstone. Uh, so, yeah, so for the listeners that aren't in Montana, we've seen a few of you down in California listening. Um, Yellowstone is, if you don't know, it's kind of like active news everyone knows about. That Yellowstone is the largest active volcano in the entire world. And... Super, and it's, no, super volcano. It's at the bottom of Montana, yeah. And uh, I think with all these uh, volcanoes going around the world, exploding like a motherfucker, I think that uh, it's depressurizing a lot of maybe potential catastrophic blasts like fucking Yellowstone. I mean, but Earth is getting fucking wild, man. Like, we have more hurricanes, more fires. You know what I mean? Like, shit's going down, man. Are you a believer in... um? Mass extinction? No, absolutely. Well, that, yeah, I know. I know. Well, that I mean, that's science, dude. But are you fucking behind global warming or no? I am, it's, and I get a I, lot of a slack thing, from man. my conservative people. It's a real thing. Yeah, I, I mean, I get it because everyone's all like, the Earth goes through cycles. Well, that's fucking a given, buddy. Dude. But if you yeah, but that means it's bound to refreeze too, there, bud. If you don't believe for a fucking second that humans are are speeding up this process of global warming. Hashtag don't litter. Hundred percent don't litter, man. Like there there's a there's an issue with how bad we treat our planet when we live here all the time, dude. I mean, we we're here, dude. We live here and we still treat it like shit, dude. Do we do you treat your house that way? Fuck no, dude. Why the fuck are you treating your home that way? Planet Earth. It's because it's convenient for people to just throw everything in one garbage can. But then again, I don't know. Do it's recycling not, companies actually recycle? That's the real question. Well, that, yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. I, mean, I would have. You would hope so. Anyways. Ah, right, whatever. We'll go. Um. So it's people have been asking me, dude, to fucking share a little light about me, about my little history. Yes, I was a drug addict. Yes, I have been in trouble. Yes, I've been away, and we all know that. So in a little process of all that shit, <laughs> I helped make a show happen. I got arrested on national TV on Rocky Mountain Bounty Hunters, first episode, season one. And probably one of the most embarrassing moments in my entire fucking life. I uh, can I can vouch for him for like two years. He, oh, that's all he heard is, oh, Tylan from that show? Yeah. Yeah, fuck, Tylan dude. from the fucking show, man. <laughs> Yeah, that was a fucking... Because yeah, it was such a big show when it came out, especially in Montana, man. Like, fucking people are about it. They're like, where do you, can you watch it? Animal Planet. <laughs> yeah, like, motherfucking Animal Planet. I wasn't even but... cool enough to make it anywhere then. I was literally like an animal. I was on fucking Animal Planet, dude. And, and it was the first episode... Ever. Ever. Of a new They series. were going to lose their show if they didn't arrest me. So that's two people we know on the first start of the show. It's weird. So I'll tell the story live. So when you watch it, about most of that shit is fabricated. So when I got arrested, right, me and my buddy, Tevin, Tevin was living at my house, right? And uh, fucking he gets a call from the bounty hunter. And somehow the bounty hunter fucking knows that Tevin's been living with me. So Tevin calls me. He was like, dude, you got to call these guys because... They're they're gonna hit me with some other charges if you don't answer. They're just gonna double my shit. And I was on some little shit, right? And so I call him, and I let him know where the fuck I was, dude. And we would negotiate. Tevin's my witness. I negotiated terms out to where I would be rebonded if I paid a certain amount of money, right? And so somebody like the whoever oh, I can't remember the, run the bonding company shows up and fucking um. I have this money, right? And I put it into a, a plastic bag and I zip tie it or I zip seal it, you know, in a, in the plastic bag and I cut a hole in my screen. They were, it's an old school house that I was arrested at. So they had metal screens, right? And he shows up and he slides the paper through. I read it. it. It looks legit. It's like a fucking, it's a rebond, right? And uh, I never heard of a rebond, but I just took his word for it. And I signed this paper, man. And he, he talks to me, and he's all like, hey, can I use your driveway? I'm just going to call the sheriff's department, call this warrant off, da-da-da. I was like, yeah, dude, cool. Well, I get this fucking fucked up feeling, dude, like, because he's sitting out there for like 10 minutes, dude. And I was like, Tevin, dude, we should record this shit, dude. 
and he's like okay uh so we like we started recording it and i was like just don't get seen because then you get arrested too you know what i mean and he's like all right man i'll just i'll just lay low so he's recording so we have a home footage of this like a real footage like we had this fucked up feeling that something was weird happening we just didn't understand the we didn't understand the um the uh the how large of a thing what was going on? We just thought it was motherfucking animal planet. We just man. thought that the sheriffs were coming to arrest me for sure. Like that's that was the original thought. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, dude. And let's just say that I, uh, I could potentially could have been in bigger trouble, right? And all of a sudden, these black SUVs roll up, bomb, bomb, bomb. I'm like, oh my fucking god, dude, they're coming. <laughs> and uh, we've seen people hop out on and. Uh, they, it was the fucking, it was a camera crew, but you just don't, you don't, in the midst of all the panic and shit, you don't realize what the fuck's going on, dude. And, uh, these guys get out with fucking guns, AR shotguns, they're pounding up these fucking doors, these, I have these pit bulls that are fucking going off, blah, 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 blah. and all, before I know it, dude, I'm arrested, and there's cameras everywhere, I was like, what the fuck are all these cameras doing here? And they're all like, don't worry about it. They just kept it hush, hush, right? And while they take me down to the bonding company, and they're like, I hear him in the other room, you know what I mean? I thought, like, you were split, like, in my mind, I've been arrested before, you know what I mean? I've just never been arrested on, a like, a, like a bond thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what the fuck am I doing sitting here? And I hear him in the other room arguing, da, da, da. It must have been with, like, producers or something. They're like, we need to get this footage because if we don't get this footage, we're going to lose this contract. And um, so-and-so comes back in. You know, I just don't want to mention his fucking name for rights or whatever you know the fuck you know what i'm saying yeah we already had someone try getting on us so yeah so fucking um he comes in he's all like oh we're using your fucking footage uh, he's like you don't have um any fucking rights or anything you were on bail on underneath my company and we're using your footage and i you know looking back now knowing what i know i probably have some kind of money dude that i could probably get a hold of like because i'm pretty sure it was illegal for them to use that with that like they use my face and shit my name my face all that shit right and then didn't they fabricated you, this didn't story. You sign something? No, oh. that's the thing. And fucking, um, they, uh, um, they fabricated. So I was, months later, man, I'm on this gnarly fucking runner on drugs, and I get a call from a random person. I completely forgot about all this shit, right? Because I was just arrested on misdemeanors, and um, I'm on this gnarly drug binge, and I get a call randomly from someone I went to high school with. They're like, "Dude, are you watching TV right now?" And I'm like, "No." And uh, he's like, get to wherever you could and watch. I was getting tattooed, actually. My test, my uh, my chest tattooed. And I was like, all right, pause all this shit. I actually have a streak in my tattoo where I stood up because I was like in this weird panic. You know what I mean? And um, they're all like, so I go to my motel and I fucking, I turn on the TV and there I am fucking blasted, dude. Thailand Bates being arrested on Animal Planet. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? And I, cause when he first told me, I had no fucking idea that it was like this recorded shit from months ago that, I, you know, that they, cause what they recorded of me was probably total of like, like all together total footage was probably like 15, 20 minutes, maybe. Right. And, uh, so like, I just, you know, you forget about that shit like months online. You don't even think about it, especially when you're on drugs. And, uh. Like, so when I got told, I was like, what? Like America's most wanted or something. You know what I mean? And, uh. It ended up being this fucking stupid show that they fabricated. Like they said, I was out in the woods in this camper, or in this, you know, or in, in this in cabin. In some barn, and this yeah. is his kid, and, and this, this is his that. neighbor. Yeah, they yeah. even fabricated my kid's fucking voice and a picture. His mother's voice, and yeah, yeah. kid wasn't even in school yet. And they're like, look at <laughs> this, this kid. Boy. Looked like it was fucking have, fourteen have years old. Seen, have you seen this boy? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking weird, man. Like. So there it is. There's the Rocky Mountain Bounty Hunter story that everyone keeps talking about that wants me to put it on the fucking show. That's the real story. That all that shit was fabricated except for the arrest itself. And uh, I mean, even then they got the dogs riled up. So yeah, no, the dogs were re- like really all fucking. Right. Yeah, they were. They were pounding. Yeah, yeah they, that's the only reason why I opened the door because they said they were gonna shoot my fucking dogs. On that was another thing. They were, if you don't open up, we're gonna shoot the fucking dogs. And I was like, oh, don't kill my dogs, dude. Don't kill the dogs. They don't deserve this shit. You know what I mean? One of these ain't even my dogs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, so when I open up, um, that's when I got arrested. And you know what I mean? And then it happens to be on Animal Planet, so they cut them saying they're gonna shoot the dog out. <laughs> 
<laughs> you feel oh, what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. They, they legit said they're, they're like, we're going to fucking shoot the dogs. We're going to bust open the door and shoot the dogs. So I was like, fuck it. I'll come out, dude. <laughs> Don't fucking kill the dogs. All right. On three. I'm coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so news happened uh, politically in the political world today. The Democrats handed over the impeachment papers over to Senate. So they're going to trial with new stuff <coughs> stating that Rudy Giuliani, which is Trump's private lawyer, was caught with evidence directly linking him to investigate Biden. Wow. Yeah. That's big shit, dude. That's, I mean, that, I mean, who knows where this impeachment goes? Like, again, my conservative friends are like, it's a fluke, da, da, da. But when the evidence piles up, man, it piles up. Five, five minute countdown. Dang, already? Holy crap, I feel like we haven't even started, man. So let's just roll until we're done, huh? Fuck it. Yeah. I think uh, we're doing good. Yeah, so. fuck yeah, we're rolling, dude. Uh, and I mean, if we got to take any sections out, I can do that too. Okay. Whatever. Sweet. Um, Yeah, so fucking... Uh, I've seen a few things just scrolling around, dude, like kidney stones. Dude, have you seen any of those gnarly videos with kidney stones? I have seen one recently. It'll make me fucking puke, dude. They're like the surgery one where they pulled like, like, like. Oh, yeah. And they were like fucking. Like, fucking gnarly fucking stones. Out of like another kidney. fucking rock. Like three of them. Yeah, three of them, bro. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, that shit made me puke, bro. I want to puke, bro. And, and uh, like the first thing that comes to my head, dude, is I'm a fucking gnarly Mountain Dew drinker, dude. Right. Like I, I live on Mountain, Mountain Dew, dude. Shout out to Loaf and Jug. Yeah, shout out to Loaf and Jug. Um, and I was like, dang, dude, I wonder what the fuck my kidneys look like. I know I don't drink enough water to be filtering those things out. Oh, there's a picture right there. Go back. Look at that. Look how many kidney stones are in this dude's kidney. Ooh, fuck that. Yeah, bro. Okay, for those that can't see, which is basically everyone, it uh, I'm going to say 150. At least in this guy's fucking kidney. And, like, the, what all, all I can think, dude, is, like, I, I was reading up symptoms for kidney stones, dude, and it's lower back pain. I have gnarly back pain, dude. But granted, I've been in eight car accidents, but that was like where my brain went. I was like, oh, fuck. What if I got a kidney stone? It's huge and it's killing me. And it might be. I mean, as long as it doesn't burn when you pee, I say. <laughs> and if it does, maybe I'm having progress of removing one. That's right. So I, I pulled up this uh, blue heron thing here, and I, I seen it scrolling, dude. And they're all like, in case anyone is wondering what happened to the dinosaurs, here's a baby blue heron. That fucker looks like a dinosaur. Don't it? Yeah, I'm sure it's part prehistoric, man. I don't know how old blue herons are, but... Still, that shit looks it like a dinosaur. It does sound pre prehistoric, though, right? Look, look at it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, and, somehow we're going to get these photos in our comments. Yeah, or, you know, I mean, you guys can go out and do the research, man. This is just a fun topic for you to look at. Yeah. Um, I want to do a personal shout-out for the guy who fucking... So, uh, yeah, I'm a liberal. Yeah, I fucking support Democrats. But I also am pro-gun. The guy who was carrying the gun that shot the Texas shooter. There was three guns in that church, dog. That dude shot him. He was a professional... Tra he's a... Tra he, like... What, what are the odds? God, like, literally was in that church. Because he was a... Right, <laughs> like he, like that was what. Yeah, he, he does. come in and he started busting. He's a target. He was a target shooter though. That guy who shot the other guy, like shoots targets for a living. Yeah, oh, dude. the older fella. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. And um, so he shot him, no problem, dude. Yeah, bust him right. That's in the head. he. He saved a if bunch. If y'all haven't seen the video, please look that up because it's funny. Oh, uh, if bad. he can handle it, you know what I mean. I'm one of those people that yeah. can't handle a lot of that it's, shit. It's an uncovered photo to see. And shot that dude live, bro. And uh, and I got mad respect for that old boy. Um, also, about respect. How do you know you are respected? How do you know you're respected? Yeah. Uh, I think How I can you tell you're respected? Fuck, dude. I don't know. Yeah, it's a sideball question. I, I figured to throw it out there, though. Um, how do I... I don't think you truly know anyone's motives, like motives, you know what I mean? And I think motive drives respect, dude. So, like, if my motive is to respect you, right, it's because of the things you've done. It's the things that I admire in in you 
that maybe I am not accomplishing or that I have accomplished or we have a similar story, something along those lines. So I don't think you can ever rate someone's respect on someone else unless fucking... Like, I don't know, man. Like, rating a, a, a respect level is tough, dude, because I respect a lot of people for a lot of different things. You know what I mean? So, and a lot of times, it, it's... I, I, I respect people on... I don't know, man. Respect goes in every direction, so that's a tough question. I don't really have an answer. Okay. Uh, you? I just want... Same question. Yeah. Uh, I think body language, man, that's one thing that, that's hard to fake. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I forgot the original question, dude. I'm like, how do you know? How do you know you are respected was the question. Yeah, okay. I think I took that in a different avenue. But I think body language, really, and eye contact. 100%. And then if you're getting spoke. And, the, and, and I guess what they say, you know what I mean? Fuck yeah, dude. If if they think they can run over you, dude, like, you're going to find it. You're going to find it in the world a lot, dude, on how someone respects you off body language and attitude and the way they talk to you. But I think you're gonna find it most in a workplace, because um, that's where fakeness shows. Yeah. 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 So if they don't fucking respect you in that sense, then it's it's. I, I think it's real obvious, but you have to play along with it. So etiquette. Okay. Yeah. All right. And um, I got one final question on the day. Uh, I mean, on the day. On the day for now. Okay, so uh, uh, well, before you get in that question, I want our act like our our active listeners to be active. If you if you guys really support us, and I'm not testing you guys' support or your loyalty or your listenability, whatever, but please get active in our fucking social media. I mean, I, I see a lot of you guys sharing this and that. Yeah, because then it's just me and Thailand sharing, and it looks obsessive. Not not just that. I see <laughs> I, I see a ton of other people sharing too. But like, okay, fair. I'm enough. saying like on Instagram, go to our Instagram page, go to our YouTube, comment what you think we should talk about. This is an idea that we brought up in our promo video. We want you guys to pick topics because if you guys pick topics, that gives us something that you want to fucking hear about. And, I mean, I've, I've heard the paranormal topic. That's going to come back up. Um, I think we need the right guests to bring that say, up. Yeah, we have, I don't, we have an idea of a guest. Because, but, all, like, everyone knows that yeah. I'm not with the whole ghost exactly. shit anymore, dude. So I need, I, I personally need a, a guest that's going to fit that bill really well. Right. Someone with stories, someone that's been somewhere, you know, uh, people that came from the Civil War, uh, Civil War, yeah. This, oh, oh, yeah. You know, over oh, yeah. There, you know, uh, in the eastern that region. Yeah, yeah. Got gotcha. you. Because I feel like that's so like someone. That. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't give a shit if you are uh, spiritually inclined with religion, or you are a Wicca or anything. If you feel like the spirits, the or Holy a Spirit, furry, whatever you are, man, come as you are. We just want to hear your stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the right guess with that paranormal. Along those paranormal shit is gonna work, man. But see, that's feedback that I've got verbally. But I, we would like to see some of that recipro- reciprocate into our YouTube, For sure. our Instagram, Facebooks. I mean, it, it's not. It's a lot of ass to take something out of someone's day because time is the most valuable thing in the whole fucking world. You can't get it back. So some say time is worth nothing. Oh, dude, that's a top of uh, that, that's a topic. That's that, a topic of its own. But I'm just saying, some people say time is worth nothing. Uh, well, what I, your uh, efforts worth everything? I say time is worth everything, dude, because you can't buy time. I don't give a fuck who but you are. But you can make it up, and that's where we're at now. In, in my eyes, time is by far the most valuable thing in anyone's world. Mm. So if I'm offering my time to hang out with you and take time out of my fucking day to be whatever with you, then I could have made my time elsewhere if, if you weren't valuable. I mean, I have to have some type of value for you in order to share my time with you because I consider my time precious. So I think time is by far the most valuable thing out there. Okay. But well, that's just because we ran off of a concept. But moving on, just a little little social engagement for our returning listeners. That yeah. Would be so great. share your valuable time with us and engage into our fucking social media. That'll be tight. Uh, all right. So my final question on the day Yeah. comes from Rigo. Uh-huh. And it states as this. This is content pulled from someone else, you guys. By the way, yes, this is a comment actually. Yeah, comment message to the. You can even message it to us on the weekly bus. We check it every day. Mm-hmm. Anyway, how do you feel about your spouse, and how do they make your life better? How do they better your life? Therefore, if it wasn't for Cheyenne, dude, 
I would be a piece of shit. I have fallen and fallen and fallen again in active addiction and in, in arrest in my life. You know what I mean? My history. Mm-hmm. In the last two years, this woman has stood by me and at ground zero with me and watched me build. Without Cheyenne's comfort, love, flexibility, understanding behaviors, I want to be who the fuck I am. I think... Support. Yeah, now, 100%, dude. Like, I have a lot of outside support because I'm blessed in that area. But if it wasn't the person who I, I, I share a room with, who I share children with, a house with, if I didn't have that support day in and day out, then I'd be a fucking dirtbag. Because I have a daily... You re- still believe that? Yeah, I have a daily... Re- yeah, absolutely. 100% because I, I, I love her. I love going home. And if you're not comfortable going home or if you're not comfortable with the person you're around all the time, then... It's fucking tough, dude. Like, I've been in that shoot. I have. And I I really believe that she's built me into a wonderful human being. So I won't say that she changed me because I didn't want to change. I changed because I wanted to be a better person with her. For her and the kids. With yeah. her. And for myself, uh, I just have to give a shout out to uh, Cassandra, Cassie. <laughs> She's been with me through some of the fucking shittiest times I've been, man. Because I've been... You battled depression tough, dude. For a minute. Off and on, man. It's it's when I don't have a job. But even when I'm not having a lucrative job, I feel worthy of working for the white man. <laughs> God you know what damn. I mean? I feel like I, that's half my purpose is to work for these motherfuckers. Uh but anyway, yeah, she's been with me through the ups and downs, and I just have a lot of respect for that because at some points I had really nothing to offer. I fucking, I'm ignorant, I'm arrogant, <laughs> you know what I mean, egotistical, but that's just on me. But uh, for you listeners. No, no, I was listening tough, dude. I think that you were going in. So, I mean, it's, I'll, I'll resort you back to the question then. Okay. How, like, what or, I mean, in what way does your spouse benefit or not benefit you, basically? Being able to keep me fucking grounded, man. I'm, I feel like two fucking people and one of them is just fucking wild. So being able to contain that is fucking cool. (laughs) You think you might be borderline bipolar or something? Yeah. And she's how, like, and Cassie's able to deal with both personalities? She's also a Gemini, so yes, I think it really helps. Gemini, did you really resort there? I did. I'm sorry. You, you resorted to horoscopes? Hey, horoscopes be like, you'll eat today. Thank God. <laughs> God damn, bro. I was hoping you would not travel that I, direction. I didn't want to, but you asked about it, and I said it's Gemini, and that's the one with two people. So You traveled there, man. Travel. Yeah, I mean, you traveled in that direction. That was yeah, crazy. you're right. All right, um, but for you, for you listeners, we would like to hear your uh, how your spouse benefits you. I give mine two thumbs up. My my spouse. Also, two thumbs up. You know what I'm maybe, saying? Maybe four. <laughs> if I had two more arms, I'd give that baby four thumbs up. Exactly. Um, but just just hashtag the weekly bust for us anywhere, everywhere. Please. Yeah, hashtag the shit out of us. Um. It also, can be Weekly Bus Podcast. It can be the Weekly Bus. We'll see you, and we will appreciate you. The Weekly Bus is becoming like a common name throughout the house. Like every, like every person I run into, like they seriously bring out the Weekly Bus. Hey, yeah. Like we've had people that I've never talked to. You the know, guest list out. is getting big, dude. Like, and we're trying to budget out. Like, so if you have asked to be a guest on the fucking show and you haven't been reached out to lately, it's because we're trying to structure these episodes upcoming with uh, our episodes that are running in. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, yeah, because we're uh, not that we're obligated, but we are scheduled to drop for you guys every Saturday. So we're, uh, I mean, it's just a timing thing, I think. So again, back to time is precious. Um, you know, like our lives are getting like Levi, you're back in school. I, yeah, I work all the time, especially we've had a weird week at work for me, um, which has been tough. So um, everyone that's being patient with the with the guest list, thank you, appreciate that shit. Shout out to you guys. Um, your wanna, time will come. I promise you, hundred percent. Um, I want to say thank you to Twenty Past Four being our sponsors, and a big shout out to Jamie St. Marks, our auntie. We love you. Your one stop vape and head shop. Go down there, check them out. Mike and David and uh, 
the rest of the crew they hired on some people man i forgot about that shout out to their new crew members and um if you guys need yeah, what, what up boys yeah hello. hell yeah down to the gentleman down there uh 20 past four um go down there check out their new selection they get new uh they get new gear all the time big tie-dye guys down there so rock that out um if you guys are looking for cool tie-dye stuff um good uh good tobacco wear accessories all that fun stuff and uh auntie jamie love the shit out of you i hope your trip down there is doing kick-ass what i think in bozeman or something uh bozeman yep yeah cool cool i hope you're in a badass trip down there and uh also uh, another thank you to our brother carrie welch aka hectic and MT Souls and the boys. One. 86. Oh, fuck, dude. Hey. Okay, so I'm excited about this. <clears throat> Our brother, Kerry Welch, and his band, 86. Shout out to Charles Day and Steve. And the boys. Yeah. The all guys. the all you guys, man. You guys just made something huge. If you guys are into video games, like Session, the skateboard video game, is having 86 play their song in the video game, dog. No so, shit. So, where to God, dude. Uh, so, shout out to 86, to the song 86, um, the band 86. Everywhere we go, we get, get 86. is going to be an in-session skateboard game on Xbox. Um, it's on PC. No PlayStation. <laughs> Sorry, PlayStation. You don't, you get left out of this one. But uh, um, legit, um, they're going to be on there, man. So, That's fucking sick, dude. I I didn't even hear about that. So that's yeah, breaking no, it, news to me. It's uh, breaking news to you, man. But fucking, it is cool. I talked to our brother the other day, and he's just he's pretty pumped about it, man. He's all like, um, I won't give no details. I, I mean, I'll, I'll save that for him. But that is fucking something cool. So if you guys are playing sessions and you hear, everywhere I go, I get eighty six. That's our fucking brother's music out of his band with uh, Charles, their band, Steve. Sorry, I don't like to say his, but that's just our brother. So. Um, if you hear yeah, that, you guys are mad and important also. We love you. That's fucking 86, man. And, uh, um, I want to do a shout out to Melody James for doing the artwork on our logo. We love it. We, uh, to this day, I still, I, I admire, I admire the framework. I, I admire it's, everything. It's definitely the first thing I look at when I walk in here. It's fucking cool, man. But also, uh, one person we've forgotten to give a shout out to, well, not forgotten, but we also have another piece of art that was also drawn up. Oh yeah, dude. So my biological father hooked us I, up with a dope painting for the studio, and uh, right in St. Mark's, he's a hell of a painter, man. So if you guys are looking for any kind of painting when it comes to wildlife or anything like native, he has some really good paintings. If you want to go check him out, right in St. Mark's, you can find some of his paintings on our pages. We share them when we can. Um, if you've been to our Instagram page, we're talking about the uh, the TP one, and I just want to I want you guys to know where this picture come from. I came in. With a little bit, with a little blue drawing on my fucking hand of a teepee, a fireplace at night. That's all I did. Four little symbols, and he gave me that. It's sick, dude. It's fucking sick. It looks like Glacier behind it. Does it not? Like, it looks like right outside Browning. Yeah, it does, dude. For real. And, um, so, yeah, if you guys are looking for some cool paintings or anything like that, the guy is a fantastic painter, and he puts his heart and soul in those paintings. And we got one of those as well. Melody, again, your artwork is incredible. It's I couldn't have asked for nothing more on our logo. Um, Cody, shout out to you, buddy. Um, Cody was uh, going to be our original sound guy. You know, time. prior obligations. It's okay. Yeah, he got uh, he got other things going on. He's a professional software player. He's going to be on the show at some point. Um, he has a table being made by his personal friend for the show. Thank you. That's a shout out for you, guy. And. Um, yeah, man, this is episode five. Let's this is episode five of the Weekly, Weekly Bust. Bust.